Let us have a look at the features of Descendant 11 ROM based on Android 11. Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And let us have a look at the features which Descendant 11 ROM based on Android 11 brings to us as a custom ROM. Now, as you can see, I am running the official build of Descendant 11 based on Android 11 on my Redmi K20 Pro. So first up, let us access the quick settings panel and bam, have a look at that quick settings panel. It is super cool and super dope. Now, you might not agree with me because Descendant ROM is a bit different and not everybody likes it, but me personally, I do like this ROM. So on the top left, you have your clock. On the top right, you have your weather. So if I tap on the clock, bam, it is going to take me to the clock application. This here is your SIM data usage. And if you have any events scheduled for that day in your calendar, they will show up over here as well. Then you also have your battery percentage, Wi-Fi icon, tap on the battery percentage and it is going to take you to the battery page. Next up, you do have the pretty cool looking brightness slider. And I mean, I am a big fan of this UI. Then if you swipe down, this is how the expanded or extended quick settings panel look like. And if you noticed, the edit icon is now visible right beside the settings icon. It is not visible when it is not expanded. So here it is one more time expanded quick settings panel and you do have a bunch of quick setting tiles available next up before i forget the blur and zoom effect from android 11 works without any issues and those of you who are interested in this wallpaper i have it linked in the description of this video and before i forget if you tap on the weather it is going to give you more details about the weather as well next thing recents bam here it is pretty good pretty smooth now you do have a bunch of different options at the bottom the first option here on the left this is to take a screenshot and then you can choose to share it or you can also choose to edit it or delete it whatever you want to do this button here is the close all button and as you can see all my applications just closed then this button here is to close the current application only and this here is going to take a screenshot and share it right away so unfortunately you do not have the select option but i personally prefer this more than your select and screenshot now it would of course be great if they can add the select feature as another floating button over here then let us have a look at the volume panel again something which is very different so here it is this here is your volume panel how do you access it bam there it is tap on this arrow omg have a look at that super cool animation here it is one more time this is something which is really very impressive and this is one of the reasons why i like the ui changes which descendant has done to stock aosp next up it doesn't end over here let us have a look at the lock screen so again i have my weather over here the time or your lock screen clock i also have the number of unlocks which can of course be enabled or disabled in descendant health we'll have a look at that later in this video however press and hold on the lock screen clock as you can see it is now moving swipe to change the clock face bam here it is i can now swipe and change my lock screen clock from the lock screen itself so let us say i like this style so press and hold and bam there it is this is my new lock screen clock a pretty nifty feature right super cool super dope and we still have to continue right so you also have a minus one screen there it is this is how your minus one screen looks like you have the time on the top left the weather over here this here is to enable or disable the torch this here is to enable or disable do not disturb mode and this here is for emergency mode now the emergency mode on descendant x is pretty dope as soon as you activate it it's going to send 
an emergency message to your emergency contacts as long as you have them set up so where do you set this up you go into settings and then you go into descendant health do note it is going to show you your covid cases as well but you also have other options so you have sleep notification screen on notification lock screen well-being so this shows you how many times you've unlocked your device and here is the medical info so you set up your medical info over here add your emergency contact and then you can access your emergency mode from the lock screen minus one is what descendant calls it so pretty nifty pretty cool and pretty different in my humble opinion next up let us head over to the settings and as you can see the settings page is of course inspired by android 12 so you have your search bar your profile picture over here settings up on top and if i move as you can see the text changes from big to small based on whatever direction you are scrolling in let us first go into apps and notifications so next up see all applications and let us choose let us say the browser which comes baked in with this rom and i am having a blonde moment so here it is kiwi browser if you go into permissions you will see they have two options which are unique to descendant 11 first one is network as the name suggests it is access to your internet so you can allow it or deny it similarly you have access to sensors as well so this is something which is present only in descendant 11. then there is another feature which is your re ticker and this is going to change the way you see your notifications and it is pretty cool instead of your notification in your notification bar or quick settings you'll get a notification over here and you can choose to use the app colored background in case you want to next up we have battery so in battery another cool thing the graph of your battery usage is shown right here you don't have to go to any other menu to see it this space here is used for your battery usage graph and then they also have something called descendant idle manager which is their own algorithm to ensure your battery efficiency and they do recommend that you leave this on next up we can jump over to display so in display other than your normal options they do have something called quick settings compact layout so this is how your normal layout is let us change this to say compact and bam as you can see the time date is now more compact and pretty impressive then they have something called thumb ui so in case you want to use your big screen device with one hand enable thumb ui bam everything shifted down and now you should be able to access your settings option with just one hand and use your devices one handed and the best part it doesn't look ugly at all it looks pretty professional again in my humble opinion next up if we head over to lock screen so here in you have option for ambient display and sensors so of course devices which support aod you have always on option you also have double tap to wake on those your different options for pickup hand wave but you also have something called clock flow so this is going to provide you a new way to discreetly see which app you have received a notification from on your lock screen and it is fully customizable as in you have different themes available for this and again this also looks pretty dope then you can go into the styles application you have only one theme baked out of the box but you can of course create different themes you do have a bunch of different font options then you also have multiple icon options you can choose the accent colors and no rgb picker but there are different options now i'm not sure why this overlay is not available for me but maybe there's a specific mode for it so if you know about it do let me know in the comments below and then you can of course choose the icon shape tap on next give it a name apply it and you should be good to go and before i forget they have another nifty feature for those of you who have devices with always on display it is called always on display schedule so now you can schedule aod for your device so of course you know when you're sleeping in the night you don't want your aod to be enabled thereby 
resulting in some battery drain so you can always schedule your aod from this option under display and lock screen moving over to sound you have the different call volumes alarm volume all those things and in terms of ringtones they have some licensed ringtones from voice uk participant emmanuel which are baked into this rom as well of course they have licensed those ringtones then you also have a toggle to change the volume panel interface so right now when you access the volume panel you have to tap here and then tap here to get the expanded volume panel however if you enable this toggle and now if i activate the volume panel you see this small arrow bam here it is i do not have to first interact with the panel and then press the button at the bottom next up they have a section called audio handling so herein as soon as you reduce the volume to zero and some media is playing it is going to pause at that point of time and then if you increase the volume it is going to resume so this feature is present in other custom roms as well moving over to privacy you have something called descendant guardia which is very useful so descendant guardia is something which will let you know if an application requests access to certain sensors in the background and here are the different alert types which you can get so you can get an alert for gps camera microphone phone clipboard read and clipboard write alerts now of course we do have a separate video showing off all these features for descendant guardia which can be found in the description of this video and apple has already moved towards a similar feature and google will hopefully add it with android 12 but those of you who do not like waiting can always get it with descendant 11 rom next up in terms of security you have screen lock then you have fingerprint so devices with a physical fingerprint scanner you have that devices with fod have fod you also have face unlock and you also have app lock which does work with face unlock then you have something called lock screen extreme security so right now if i go to my lock screen and try to access the quick settings panel i can access it without any issues however once i enable this toggle now if I have a pin or something set up on my lock screen, I should not be able to access it. In fact, I do not need to set up a pin or anything. As you can see, swiping down, I am not able to access the quick settings panel. And similarly, you can disable your lock screen minus one page as well once you enable this toggle. Then we can jump over to system. So herein, of course, for the redmi k20 pro you do have front camera sound effects because we have a pop-up camera and this is going to be device dependent however if i go into gestures and then go into system navigation i do have three different options let us concentrate on gesture navigation go into settings so i have the option of hiding the bar at the bottom bam there it is the bar at the bottom was hidden and it is now back visible again so swipe to screenshot yes three finger screenshot is also present in descendant 11 bam there it is working without any issues other than that in terms of app opening animations the rom is pretty smooth however again that should be something which is device dependent in terms of recents here it is no jitters and no lags similarly google feed again no jitters and no lags here either unfortunately this rom is not available for poco f1 users but if you have a device for which the rom is available i do recommend you giving it a try because it is something which is very different and has some pretty nifty features and there it is peeps that was our first look at the features of descendant 11 rom based on android 11 and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you